Greetings, my friends. Here's our Flaming Hearts cane, which I think you'll enjoy. I took some alizarin crimson and some zinc yellow and made the conventional Skinner blend. And when it was to my liking, I folded it in thirds and rolled over it a bit and placed it back in the clay machine to make a long strip. Uh, I put a small log of the zinc yellow at the edge and fan folded it into a triangle. You don't need a lot of that yellow. It can really uh, eat up your design. So just a little bit is good. Then I mixed my antique gold, my yellow gold glitter. And I reduced that big cane to four inches. Then I made a log, pinched it into a teardrop shape. And I made a channel in the triangle. Then I took my um, gold log teardrop, cut it in half, and put some alizarin crimson in the center, break it up, and then I cut the triangle in half. So when it's assembled, you'll see that you just put it in the middle of the two halves, pull it up and around, and close it as much as you can. And it looks fine there. It's a stylized heart. We didn't want to be too corny. Uh, it just kind of indicates a heart. I put a strip of the uh, red in there to make sure it's sealed up properly, and I reduced it down to the 12 inches. And I cut it into six pieces. Made a little snake for that center for a little more pop of yellow. And created a round cane. And I put it in my uh, square pairs, squared it up and cut it into slices and laid it on a uh, number one sheet of gold. And I folded it into a triangle so it would be pretty on both sides and I cut through plastic. So you get a little bit of a dome shape that way and I like that. I added my bale and then to bake it and get more of a curve to it, which is kind of what I was looking for, I put it on a votive holder. And it gave it a really graceful pretty look in the end. I added some findings and some glaze and we're done. A happy Valentine's Day. See you next time.